walk along the sun-kissed beaches of St. Thomas, more than 40 in total, and you'll forget a chilly New England winter. Wave upon wave of sparkling views, transporting you into a calm Caribbean state of mind. Here in St. Thomas, one of the U.S. Virgin Islands, blissful escape is closer and easier than you might think. A four-hour flight from Boston lands you here in a postcard-perfect paradise where year-round highs hover in the 80s. And here, you can leave your worries and your passport at home. Being a part of the United States is beneficial to us in so many ways. It is very appealing to be able to come to some place that is American and still exotic. Convenience is just one of the island's many lures, according to Luana Wheatley of the U.S. Virgin Islands Department of Tourism. Packed in just 31 square miles are attractions both bucolic and bustling, centuries-old architecture, white sand beaches, and soaring views from the island's many mountains, earning St. Thomas the nickname Rock City. And those are just sights from land. Waters between the U.S. and the British Virgin Islands really are some of the most beautiful in the Caribbean. A voyage into the sea reveals a vivid world. Here, off the shores of St. Thomas, colorful aquatic creatures command attention, gliding and swaying in a mesmerizing dance, mere feet beneath the surface. You're looking out and watching the changing scene, uh, minute by minute, day by day. I never tire of it. As owner of Coral World Ocean Park, Trudy Pryor hosts more than 100,000 visitors each year, all seeking an up-close and personal underwater experience. We try to really bring the guests close to the animals. Even vacationers who can't swim, thanks to the park's Sea Trek Adventure, a helmet filled with compressed air allowing for easy exploration below. You can hold on to the railing and walk comfortably. You get to breathe naturally. You can have your makeup on, wear your eyeglasses, and everything stays dry. And it's really a, a wonderful perspective. From species that float to birds in flight, Pryor says the park is an educational treasure trove, exposing guests to the island's rich habitat. It's, it's really more than a tourist attraction. And yet, sometimes the animals here are tourists as well. Good, Omar! Hi, five, buddy! Good! Can you wave hello? <laughs> Good! Meet Omar, a rescued sea lion from South America. And at a brawny 330 pounds, he quickly shows he's not to be underestimated. Associate trainer Christine Funk says a key difference between seals and sea lions is how they navigate in the water. Seals use their back flippers, while sea lions, well, let Omar show you. Swim, swim. Oh, that's Good. a nice, nice job, Omar. Good boy. <laughs> and that's how they move through the water. Funk says these sea lions, like eight-year-old Remo, have taken swimmingly to their new environment. And here, go ahead and give them a big clap. Nicely done. Good. Nice job, Remo. Very cute. Mm -hmm. And since your visit, Coral, Wor Coral World has converted their reefs in the underwater conservatory tower to man-made. Well, the effort is to conserve natural mm -hmm. coral. St. Thomas and nearby St. John have experienced a, a loss of coral cover, partly climate change, partly disease. So they're really trying to protect that environment. That's and great. hi to my friend, the seal, who's still alive, we heard. And Apparently misses me. I imagine so. <laughs> Still ahead, Ted fuels up in Bermuda.